Boeing officials are talking up the speed of the F-47 program, and honestly, it's hard not to. The first airframe is already in production, and the U.S. Air Force wants this sixth-generation stealth fighter in the sky for its first flight by 2028. And according to Boeing, that stunning pace wasn't luck. It was made possible by years of secretive NGADX plane testing, hundreds of hours of flight data, and a highly mature design that's been refining in the shadows long before the contract was even won. And today, we're taking a closer look at what's driving this rapid pace for the F-47, how hidden prototypes shaped its design, and what Boeing says this jet means for the future of air dominance. So, let's get into it. With the very first example of the F-47 now moving down the production line, Boeing is openly crediting its prototyping effort for letting the program launch at such an accelerated pace. Steve Parker, Boeing Defense Space and Security's president and CEO, didn't mince words. Winning the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, competition was humbling, he said. And the fact that the jet is already in production so soon afterward is, in his view, proof of the maturity of our design and pedigree coming off the prototype. Parker made these comments during a pre-show media roundtable ahead of the 2025 Dubai Air Show. And he kept returning to this idea. NGAB wasn't just another contract, it was transformational. And according to him, the program is tracking well. Back in March, President Donald Trump personally announced that Boeing had secured the win for the crewed fighter portion of NGAD. And this is worth unpacking because NGAD isn't just about the fighter. It's an entire ecosystem, new engines, advanced sensors, next generation weapons, electronic warfare suites, a battle management network, and, of course, the collaborative combat aircraft drones that will fly alongside the F-47 as loyal partners. Now, the Air Force says the F-47 should make its first flight sometime in 2028. But interestingly, Parker wouldn't touch that subject beyond acknowledging the Air Force's stated goal. His focus was elsewhere. He made it clear, it's all about execution, and that's what's getting all of my attention. We're in a good spot. That's a very Boeing way of saying the work is happening behind the scenes, but no one's going to overpromise on dates. Right now, the Air Force plans to acquire at least 185 F-47s, a number very much in line with the original idea of replacing the F-22 Raptor. But that figure could shift, especially if multiple versions are produced in incremental development cycles, something the Air Force has openly discussed. Parker also talked about something that rarely gets public attention. Boeing's Phantom Works. This is the company's advanced design house, their version of Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works. And according to Parker, Phantom Works was reorganized last year into its own standalone division, which is now paying off in a big way. Its contributions were essential in moving the F-47 from concept to production at a speed very few expected. He pointed out that the first real aircraft being in production is remarkable, considering that Boeing only officially won the contract in March of the same year. That kind of turnaround doesn't happen unless the company has been building, testing, and refining long before the award was public. And that's where the NGAD X-Planes come in. Parker repeatedly hinted at the maturity of this design, and that doesn't happen through paperwork or modeling alone. Yes, digital engineering played a massive role, but so did something far more tangible, flying prototypes. Multiple secretive demonstrator aircraft paved the way for NGAD, something the public still knows nothing about. When Boeing secured the NGAD contract, Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin publicly said that for five years, these X-Planes had been validating the tech behind the F-47, flying hundreds of hours and pushing new concepts to their limits. And that wasn't just one aircraft. Back in 2023, unconfirmed reports claimed at least three NGAD demonstrators existed. At minimum, we know both Boeing and Lockheed Martin had separate X-Planes in the program. One demonstrator was already flying in 2019. Another joined the test campaign in 2022. Multiple prototypes likely testing different technologies, from aerodynamics to thermal management to sensor fusion, were quietly gathering data. DARPA later confirmed that Boeing and Lockheed Martin's demonstrators each flew several hundred hours in support of the evaluation. And former Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall emphasized that these were purely experimental demonstrators, not near production prototypes. 
which means the teams had freedom to explore extreme ideas without committing to final shapes. Still, the lessons from those flights directly shaped the F-47's design, letting Boeing enter production with confidence that is rare for a program of this scale. During the Dubai briefing, Parker also argued that the F-47 program reflects Secretary of War P. Hegseth's Arsenal of Freedom initiative, a push to overhaul how the U.S. buys weapons by emphasizing speed above all. He offered a powerful example. Boeing invested billions of dollars into highly classified facilities before they even won the contract. That is not normal in defense acquisition. That is exactly the kind of early industry risk and rapid government decision-making that the Arsenal of Freedom philosophy pushes for. Boeing has already expanded its St. Louis operations to prepare for sixth-generation fighter production, not just for the Air Force, but potentially for the Navy as well. That leads to another interesting point Parker made. Boeing is fully prepared for the Navy's FAXX competition. The Navy still hasn't made a final decision, but Boeing's recent rendering of its FAXX proposal shows clear DNA links to previous F-47 artwork. Similar shaping, similar platform hints. The company isn't hiding that fact that what they've learned from NGAD is influencing their carrier-based design. Of course, only two official renderings of the F-47 have ever been released, and the Air Force has repeatedly warned that these images don't necessarily represent the real jet's appearance. Operational security around this aircraft is tight, probably tighter than anything since the B-21 Raider. What is known publicly are a few baseline performance goals. The F-47 is expected to have a combat radius over 1,000 nautical miles and flight speeds above Mach 2. It will feature next-generation all-aspect broadband stealth, meaning reduced infrared signature and a very low radar cross-section across multiple frequency bands. The Air Force also wanted to function as a command node for drone formations, the forward controller for the entire NGAD ecosystem. And this pace, it needs to be fast. The Air Force is heading toward a tactical air power shortfall as older fighters retire. Meanwhile, China's next-generation combat aircraft programs are accelerating at a rate that is forcing the United States to rethink timelines rethink risk, and rethink how fast a major program should move. In many ways, the F-47 is the case study for a new era of defense acquisition. It's moving quickly, quietly, and with a level of prototyping that front loads risk instead of pushing it years into the future. But one thing remains, we still don't truly know what the F-47 looks like, and that mystery won't last forever. The Air Force expects a first flight by the end of 2028 and Boeing officials are confident the program is progressing at the exact pace it needs. If the prototypes did their job, and Boeing seems convinced they did, we may be entering a sixth-generation air dominance era faster than anyone predicted.